Okay, I'm gonna leave this. All right, we're live. Bye. Bye. Awesome. All right, so I got my good friend Austin Benton on this live. Uh, been meaning to get him on here for a while. Uh, I've been working with Austin and his uh, business, Lead Spring, and we have some exciting announcements to talk about here uh, about his new service, Lead Spring ISA. And uh, I'm partnered up with him on that. So we just want to give you some information about that. But really quick, Austin, I just want to have you introduce yourself to all of my friends on my mm -hmm. Facebook. And uh, tell them a little bit about you know how you got actually into this whole marketing thing with uh, sure. real estate agents and loan officers. Yeah, definitely. Can we can we just talk for a moment about my COVID beard? Yes, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he is usually really bare, and mm -hmm. um, I was really surprised because I hadn't seen him on a video chat for a yeah. while. It's, it's <laughs> he made some. Admit, you're like, oh god, what what, <laughs> what is growing on your face, man? <laughs> he made some random video, and I just saw him. I'm like, what happened? This guy yeah. just grew a whole new beard. So I don't know, really man. Funny. Talking about the times that we live in, you just got to mix things up, and it's it's all it's all in good fun. But I'm I, at some point, I'm gonna I'm gonna shave it. My wife's my wife's ragging on me every pretty much every other day to to get rid of it. So this might be the last time you see it. I don't know. I think it looks good. <laughs> I, I tried to grow a beard, but I, I told you I had an issue with that. I got like an like an ingrown pimple on my face one time, and I, I had to like go to the doctor for it. So now I don't grow my beard too big. So <laughs> yeah, it was kind of weird. But anyway, uh, cool. it looks good on you. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. No, I mean, a little bit about me. So, you know, I, I we probably have a few, you know, more than a handful of friends that, that overlap. But, you know, for people who don't know me, sure. so I'm. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the, the digital marketing space for mortgage and real estate um, agents. I've, I've been doing that for the last six years. Um, I guess half of that time, probably three of those years I was doing it while I was you know, working a full-time job. I had a soul-sucking <laughs> corporate finance job that I just despised and I would go into work every day and be miserable. So I had to switch it up um, and basically start my agency like doing that part-time along with having two kids. So trying to squeeze in every ounce of of time that I could to, to work on the agency, but eventually I was able to grow it and, and get a, a critical ma mass of clients, um, such that I was able to let my job go. So that was about three years ago now. Yeah, I've been, I've been working on um, you know this stuff ever since, right? And in a full time capacity, so it's been it's been really really rewarding. Learn you know learned a lot, but um, I, I've got I've gone through. A, like a series of kind of ups and downs or different paths in the road, right? Like, like everyone does, I guess, in their, in their professional journey. Um, so yeah, the first, the first year I was like, just agency, 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 you know, really, you know, focused on delivering for clients, getting more clients, like super focused on that. Then I went the, the course creator route and, you know, one or two other, other routes. And, that, and now we find ourselves um, on the, on the, at the ISA route. And this, this one is by far the most rewarding I mean, I, I've kept my my agency throughout the entire time, so it's not like I let that go, and I've always been focused in on that. Um, but the the ISA service is just really, really exciting. I love like getting results for people because like that was one of the main things with my agency, right? Is um, in that first year is like that was killing me, and it kills all marketers. Like I don't know if mar marketers are watching this or agents or whoever, but like attrition, right? And it's just the worst feeling in the world when you have a, when you lose a client, right? So that was what killed me around around the agency, and um, and now we've you know we've we've been able to you know tackle that in a different way, and and it's it's really really exciting what we're doing. Yeah, absolutely, and there's definitely a mix of realtors and uh, marketers on my friends list. So we'll definitely be speaking to a wide spectrum of different people that can relate to this. Sure. Um, so yeah, that's that's really interesting. Just a, a quick uh, personal question: What were you doing before the agency? Like, what was your soul sucking job? <laughs> <laughs> I was oh my god, I was a corporate finance director at a um, at an asset management company in, okay. in Philadelphia. Yeah, so it was, it was pretty it was pretty bland. I mean, it was it was okay. I, I like the people a lot, but like the day to day. Um, the day to day was was a little was a little tough over the over the years. I, you know, I went to business school too, so I went to business school about four years prior to that over in the, in the UK. So that, that was super fun, but you know, I felt obligated to get like a real job, right? A real corporate job and climb the ladder and all that stuff. And then it, it took me a few years at least to realize that that wasn't the route that I wanted to go for a number of reasons. Yeah. So can we, let's explain to, um, to the people that don't know what an ISA is really quick. If, if you're cool with that. Yeah, yeah definitely. So an ISA, 
is going to be making phone calls, right? So what the IS, what our ISA team does, just in a, in a nutshell, right, is um, we follow up, follow up with leads, like home buyer leads specifically, you know, right away in real time. And we basically call those leads. Um, and, and the process is basically stepping them through like a script framework. And I say like framework because like we don't just like bl blindly follow like a script and like check off boxes. Like one of the big things that, you know, we pride ourselves on, like that separates us from like any of the maybe like um, faceless call centers or whatever. When you Google them and you see like the stock photos or like they show up, like all those ones. That, so anyway, so that's it's akin to a call center. But we really like our differentiators. We really want to forge like a connection with that lead. Right. And actually like truly understand um, what they're going through, what they're looking for, and then be able to then live transfer that lead directly to um, our clients, right? And our agency partners' clients uh, in white label, you know, brandless fashion. So we really want to, um, you know, we have like a very, very high caliber ISA, right? So you get ISAs that are you know, run the gamut of like, you know, skill set and um, geographic location. Everyone's based in the United States. Um, and we really, we're just really focusing in on creating like the absolute um, like premium experience, right, for the leads and for our clients um, via the ISAs who are super personable, super friendly, knowledgeable. We're not licensed. Um, so that's a, an important distinction. So we can't talk real estate or talk more, you know, mortgages with that, with that lead in any sort of specificity. But we, our goal is to then make that live transfer. Um, so that to basically facilitate that conversation, forge, you know, a relationship, so to speak, with that, with that lead, and then transfer those good vibes right from us to the to the client and um and just focusing it on quality through that process so let's go a little bit more into depth about live transfers specifically and like compare it to appointments yeah definitely so that that was one of the big things with my agency is like we were setting appointments or doing like text messaging that sort of thing like appointments if any like marketers know if they're watching or even agents that have been um, working with real, you know, with marketers know that like, if you're setting appointments, like only it's it only going to get you like so far because the no show rate on appointments, right, is huge on Facebook leads specifically and in general, right? It's like 70, 80 plus percent no sh that are going to no show. So it, it takes um, something that would be like otherwise positive, right? Hey, we booked an appointment for you and like turns it into like a major negative, right? When there's disappointment around the lead not showing up. So the live transfers are like basically negate that, right? Or mi mitigate that um, totally because, you know, we're actually speaking to that lead and then the live transfer processes will we'll go ahead and place the lead on hold, right? We'll say, hey, you know, just a moment while I get, you know, client name, um, place them on hold. We'll call the, um, we'll call the client directly. So the lead is not hearing us. We call the client directly. We say, hey, we've got a lead for you. Do you have a minute to take it? Yes. Okay. And then we merge the calls together with the three parties. And then we make an introduction. We recap the conversation that we just had so everyone has the right context. And then we politely exit that conversation so that the lead and the realtor can speak privately. So it's directly connecting those folks together as opposed to setting a future appointment. Yeah, absolutely. And that's such that's such a powerful thing, right? Because, um, I mean, I was even explaining this yesterday. We went live in our group that I've even experienced this, like trying to set up my own appointments for the agency. Yeah. Like, I'll set up appointments for the agency and then at least 50% of them don't show up. Yeah. And, and, it, and it, that kind of pains me because I like spent all this time like qualifying the leads and I'm getting all excited because we got these appointments and then these people don't show up. And then you're yeah. like, what did I do wrong? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like deflating, right? It's yeah. like you go hit and it's deflating. And it's like it's the last thing that you want your like clients to experience. Right. Like, what are they doing this? They're they're thinking like as a no show comes, they're thinking like, what am I even like doing with this marketing company? Right. Like they can't even get me appointments that actually show like how interested are these people. But the truth is, the truth is that they are actually interested, right? Because A, they filled out a lead form. So they took time out of their day to actually enter their information into a form. B, they picked up a phone call, right? And C, they had a conversation, right? So they're yeah. interested and they need your help. I always say like with agents, LOs, anyone like, 
you know, it's not that they don't like they're dying for your help. Like they need it desperately. Right. But they either just don't realize it or realize the extent to which, which you need it. Or, you know, if you're not connecting with them right then and there, like life, life gets in the way, right? It's like in one ear and out the other. And then they're off to a hundred other things, just like you and I are and everyone watching. So it's like, they need the help, but it's just like, it's an opportunity missed. Right. So we're just trying to like remove the, remove that from the equation, like totally. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a, it's a great thing. And I'm, I'm going to have to try implementing that for my own strategies for the agency stuff, but um, totally. but, but yeah, it makes sense. You know, like if the person's ready to talk right then and there, why not get them transferred over? Um, so yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I'm going to be leaving a link to lead spring ISA also below for you guys to check it out. Um, we're, uh, going to be a little bit limited on space, uh, just because we're trying to do this right. We're not trying to overgrow this thing so fast that we we're not getting consistent results for everybody in yeah. the beginning of the launch. So, um, you could touch up a little bit on that as well. Um, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, so we're, we're just hyper-focused on the quality. I can, I'm going to say it's like a hundred times, like, and even the lives I do later, like quality, quality, quality. Right. So it's hard. It's not easy to find someone who's like fits the bill, right. Who's like <laughs> willing to work, you know, hour after hour making calls who are super personable, friendly, um, empathetic, right. That's another huge quality. Um, and you know, who has the technical ability to make the live transfers, who's good in front of the clients when we speak to them, et cetera, et cetera. So we're building slowly because the last thing we want to do is have this like huge call queue and we're like catching up on calls and then scrambling to hire folks that aren't quite, um, what we're looking for. So we're going to be like, um, adding clients like deliberately. So if, if anyone <laughs> like PM me, I'm sorry. Like I've, I haven't gotten to my PMs. I've been really busy, but I'm, I'm going to go, I've got a little more time now. So I'm going to circle back to everyone, um, to make sure, but we, yeah, we're definitely, um, you know, there's, there's definitely a big need for this, I think just based on like the response that we've got. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll basically like shut it down, um, probably tomorrow. I mean, I don't, I don't really know that to be honest, but it's going to be like really soon once we're at capacity and then we've got some, employees in the pipeline that we're training up so we'll get back out there at some point but um you know for right now we're just going to be very deliberate in how we grow it yeah it's a really smart move i mean it, it, coming from the perspective of before i even worked with you there there wasn't a lot of different services out there wasn't a lot of different choices so it's it's a need in the market i believe as yeah. well because you know i've tried other services and you know I, i've had some success and some people had you know, great success, very little success. It really just depends. Right. But it's just good to have that like competition in the market just because mm -hmm. I think it forces everyone to get on their heels and uh, really provide a great service. And I, I yeah. think that's what you're, um, you know, bringing to the table here. Yeah. And, that, and that's what I was going back to with like attrition, right? That's like the biggest pain point of like everyone, like who are marketers or people that offer, offer those services to like the real estate injury industry industry but <laughs> it is an industry it is an injury right <laughs> someone who dropped someone it's like painful you know so like but the so that's why I, we I basically created um lee spring i say it was born out of my agency right so this yep. was this was just as you know i had my kind of roster of clients and i'm like okay how can we add value so I tried multiple isa services and call centers like i went through them all because i thought like okay you know this someone's going to be out there to like just execute right on, on what we're doing with live transfers with USA um, ISAs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I wasn't like quite able to find that at all, like after even like just trying a bunch. So I was just like, I'm going to do it myself. You know, like if, if this is not like what I'm looking for, I'm just going to do it myself. So that's where it was born out of like, you know, in the last sort of year or so it's, we've all just been doing um, the calls, the ISA team for, um, clients, right? Internal clients. And then we've right. added agency partners and um, grow the team. So now it's to the point where, you know, we feel comfortable offering it to the marketplace. Um, but this was all born out of a need, right? Like a desperate need in the, in the market for, for myself personally. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, definitely for marketing agencies too. And I think this probably caters mostly to marketing agencies at the moment, just because they are the ones doing the lead gen and they're, uh, you know, providing the leads to their clients, right? So, you know, that's also something I just wanted to talk about really quick, because I know that some people in here, whether you're a realtor, loan officer or a, a marketer, um, 
really this is just for realtors and loan officers that some people may be trying to do the lead gen themselves, right? Or they're they're buying they're paying a service like realtor.com or something yeah. like that. And they could use those services and then and then if they're not staying on top of the call follow-up or you know and and getting uh, quality leads out of the the pile that they're um, they're generating and, and bringing to themselves then yeah. they need a way of delegating that right so um, I think this is a great option for that but the reason why I actually I just want to talk about that really quick is because I know some people are interested in running some ads themselves so I just want to plug in really quick that, that I have a new course yeah. that I'm launching right now to help people get up and running with um, generating leads and then using a service like lead spring ISA to sift through the leads and actually get the, the needles out of the haystack and um, provide you with quality people that to work with, right? Yeah, so. and I'll, I'll just jump in on that is that I've, I personally reviewed the course. It is excellent, right? It is really, really, I mean, like I was saying, you should charge, you know, four figures plus for the course, right? Because <laughs> no, seriously, it's, not, it's, not, it's really, really good. I mean, it's, it's everything you need, right? To just yep. go right in and start generating leads, right? And, um, you know, it's, it's just, I just, I highly recommend, I think it's, it's really awesome. So obviously, you know, you know what you're doing like in spades. Um, so yeah, little plug there. I, I definitely recommend people go check that out. Yeah. I'm going to leave a link below this, um, this live. I'm, I'm actually hosting a raffle for five people to get that course for free. I'm trying to get some people in tweak oh, anything nice. that needs to be tweaked, um, nice. and, uh, get some feedback on it. And yeah. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave the link below. You could sign up. Dude, that's um, a no brainer, man. That's a no brainer. It's awesome. Yeah, definitely. I want to get a little hype around it, get people excited. So, um, so yeah, I think like in conjunction, these two services, um, I mean, mainly Lead Spring ISA, I'm probably like most excited about that because that's just, um, that's a game changer, right? Like, especially for the whole spectrum of, of people here that are listening. So, um, you know, myself as an agency owner before prior to working with you, um, I actually happen to see a few posts from you about the ISAs too. And like, kind of like, like they're just, uh, like sneaking in, like it wasn't even like really offered as a service yet to other mm -hmm. agencies. Yeah. I was like wondering, I was like, what's going on with that? You know? Yeah. <laughs> Cause like, you know, you know, people are always talking about the different results that they're getting and you know, it's. It, people are always, always looking for something. They're always yeah. looking for what, what can they do better? Right. So. Yeah. I, th I, I definitely agree that this was a, a, a complete need in the market and um, I'm excited to see where it goes. Yeah. So, yeah, so am I. I mean, it's, it's something that has evolved, right? It's evolved over time. Um, but, you know, the principle is always the same. It's like high, high quality, highest quality ISAs, live transfers. And that includes like the notes too. Like we, we are super, super proud of like the actual call notes that we take. Um, they're really long, really detailed. I mean, they're not long for the sake of being long, but they, they're not like, hey, like timeline is like three to five months, like location is blah, blah. Like we actually like recap the conversation in a way that we try to provide like insight into the conversation. Um, so you can reference that, reference that later. And we have uh, SMS um, notifications that come out. So we take, you know, tons of notes, all notes are in the SMS, you know, whether the live transfer was connected successfully or not, right? If we got a voicemail or something, um, you know, we can actually call a backup. So you can have a backup on your, on your team, you know, on your seat is what we're calling it. Um, but anyway, whether that's successful, um, who we attempted to call, um, star rating. Um, so I'll talk about star rating in a second, uh, but then, and then the, the reason for the star rating. So yeah, I mean, the star rating, just to kind of give a quick clip on that, is like my agents. Oh yeah, you can yeah, just pull it up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 no, that's a good call. That's a good call. So yeah, you can see that's a call report that we have. Um, it's like a sample or, or whatever a call report. Um, that's real data though. That's real data. So you could you can see um, the stars. So the star rating is like so on a scale of one to ten. Like how like what what do the I do, what does the ISA who actually had the conversation feel is that opportunity like the value based on a scale of one to 10. So it's just a quick, so you can get a quick feel of the opportunity when you look at a, gla a glance and you're like, wow, that's like an eight out of 10 or whatever. It's obviously very subjective. I've had people say like, oh, well like an eight in location X is a five in location Y or whatever. But, um, and that's true, right? That's true. So it's, it's meant to be, it's meant to be taken, taken in that way. But anyway, so we give this the star rating and then a reason for the rating, which is, I guess, in that middle column there, the shorter middle column and, um, and then all the notes. So all that gets text message over to you. Um, and, and also, 
imported into our go high, via our go high level CRM in, integration, um, which I don't know if folks how familiar they are with that, but we can we can talk about that if you want. But um, yeah, so um, they're just very detailed, very thorough, and, and try to be try to be insightful rather than just checking checking boxes. Yeah, so I just wanted to also show that how the the text message notifications look like when mm -hmm. you're getting a live transfer. Uh, they're yeah. actually the same exact notes that come from this yeah. uh, data point. So uh, everything that you see here is texted to you as you're getting a live transfer. So just in case, you know, the dog is barking, the uh, <laughs> the train yeah. is passing, yeah. you got the notes on the on on this uh, particular lead, and you know exactly how to service them. So it's just a really good, great setup. Yeah, and also that the SMSs go out to uh, the agency owner as well, right? Yeah. Um, so we really like that. So you can be fully abreast of the you know goings on of, of your client. Obviously, you get the the call report as well. And we're we're actually getting some people into into our Slack, you know, agency owners into our Slack group for really close um, communication and contact. Like that's the thing. Like I want, like I want to understand like everyone's like challenges i want to like be on top of every single campaign like they're all like so important because i've been there like i'm there to this day right as an agency owner like i know the feeling when you have like an isa or you, you have a third party vendor that you don't have any under like control over and all of a sudden they're like massively important to whether you retain your client how cl how happy your client is etc cetera, etc cetera. so that's why we put a great emphasis on those notes Right. So that, you know, and they're well written. And so they, you know, everyone can see like, wow, like these guys are really like taking it to the next level in terms of detail, thoroughness. And it's going to make you as a marketing um, agency owner look really, really good. Um, it's going to be really helpful to the client and it's just good all the way around. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I can't even say it better than that. So, um, all right. So. Yeah, what else can we say about it? That's that's really the the service in a nutshell. Um, I mean, he talked a little bit about high level. That's a whole other uh, spectrum that ties in with it as well. Yeah. So that, that's something I talk about in the course as well. Yeah, and uh, I go pretty in depth with that. Um, I'm sure if you're a marketing agency that you've heard of high level at this point and you're familiar with it. Um, so it's a great platform to to get some campaigns going and tie it in together where you can get like uh, some positive responses from emails and text messages and actually be able to use that intent and send it back to the dialer team. So it's a really cool way to tie those two uh, services together. Yeah. And you know, there are a lot of great, great automation services out there and, and even, even eight, you know, different companies that will text for you. Um, yep. You know, my whole thing was like the most important thing is the, is a, is the human to human, right. Call. Um, but like you said, you can have automation on top of that. You can have whatever you want. Um, and like if a if a person, you know, if we call call a lead and we're like, hey, yeah, we already talked to you on text, like our ISAs are like fully um, up to date on that and that they'll be like, oh yeah, no, I'm sorry. That was someone, you know, someone else that you, that you were talking to from the company. So they'll be able to like, just play that right off and say, hey, I'm sorry, do you have any other questions? And so like, we understand that there are different, um, different, you know, communication uh, methods beyond just the the calls. But so we kind of slide right in right into there as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the things that kind of uh, stuck out that you were talking about was um, like how you get feedback from everybody. Right. So like even even I've noticed that in yeah. um, the live transfers. Right. So like yeah. the, we have a, like a survey that goes out to the clients themselves about how, what was the, the, the quality of this live transfer? Like what? Yeah. How did you feel about it? And get some really, really good feedback on that, yeah. right? Yeah, that's where I post <laughs> I post a lot of those feed positive feedbacks. And by the way, for agency owners, like we operate, you know, white label, I'd, I'd actually call it brandless, you know, rather than white label, because if so basically, when we call up that, that client, we just say, Hey, it's Mike, you know, or whatever their name is, we've got a lead for you. Do you have a minute to take it? So we don't announce ourselves as being from LeadSpring ISA. Um, we have no, you know, we have no desire to, to, to tell anyone about that you know we're calling from a certain um, company, um, so we operate brandless, right? And um, and say, so too are the the um, the feedback requests, right? It comes from a Gmail. It's like Jamie Johnson, who's our, our avatar. You know, every all our emails come from Jamie Johnson, but like notification emails will come from Jamie, um, and and her email is like my home search online at gmail.com, right? So it's it's completely brandless, and um, and you're right. Those I, I just love the feedback. Those feedback. Um, responses that we get 
like even if they're not valuable, like even so we've got a few questions about like how valuable would you rate the food? Basically like very valuable, valuable, somewhat valuable and not valuable. So occasionally there are, you know, there are not valuable that come in, come through that. And we, I, I, I like seeing those in the sense that now I'm able to map that back to the, the ISA um, and not, not, it, not that it's their fault, but just to kind of understand why that transfer happened and why there was a, you know, a less than positive experience in that. Um, and so then we can have this, that, that feedback loop to make sure that we're staying on top of, you know, on top of providing value um, for, for clients. And, you know, that's the other thing to kind of mention around like value. So when I was, uh, again, this was all done just as a byproduct, like came out of my agency. So what, what I had said to the ISA is I'm like, look, if someone because a huge problem, especially on Facebook, are people who, you know, have like really terrible credit or like bankruptcies, right? Or they got no money or no job. Like there are prospects that are not, you know, they're not um, in your target market if you're if you're an LO or, or a realtor. So we don't live transfer those, right? We we just don't. If if it's apparently obvious, right? If there are those red flags, and you you know you get those cues and you get that information coming out of the call. But we're not going to be like sending like tons of live transfers with with bankruptcies and stuff like that. So we we basically just discard. You know, we say, hey, whatever. We we don't we don't push that onto the client because again, that's not. You know, when you talk to like like LOs and agents, they're like, I'd rather have like five like incredibly awesome leads than than fifty <laughs> that are like right. either so or not or not that good, right? So that's the principle of just trying to based on our understanding of the industry. Right. And what people want and what's the best possible experience for folks, like basically tailoring our entire approach to that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that, that that feedback and like I think that's something that we'll probably be implementing with everyone. Right. Like feedback with agency owners, feedback with yeah. this person and that person. And, and, and um, it's great. I mean, like just knowing that you gave them a quality lead based off of them clicking a button. <laughs> and then getting that feedback or, or and like and exactly like you said if, if it's not a quality lead it's actually even more valuable for us to know because then um we can tweak whatever what's going on right and we can improve upon it and um it, it yeah it's super valuable for for everyone for us for for the clients um so yeah it's a it's a great addition to um you know what's what's been working well and improving the service so yeah, no, it's, it's, it's amazing. Like getting feedback is just so cool. You know, it's just like direct. You're just like, wow, this is, this is super, super valuable. Cause it, it gives you a window into what, what people are thinking. Right. Um, and it's important. It's important. It's really, really, and it shows you care too. Right. It shows you care. Yeah. It shows you care. And then like when you're having conversations, like uh, for instance, if you're a marketing agency, like with your clients, you can have the conversations about, Oh, like, you know, these leads you, you described were very valuable. What's going on with them. And then you can follow up with them as far as, you know, what's going on with the sales process. And, mm -hmm. um, and if they're moving forward, that's awesome. And if they're, they're having struggles, you can, you know, that's, that's the conversations that you can have and having those conversations is what is going to, help you retain your clients longer. Right. Mm -hmm. So that, that's, and that you were talking about that attrition, you know, yeah. and, that, and that, let's, let's just, before we hop off, let's just um, talk about attrition really quick. Yeah. And, and um, yeah, let's just cover that a little bit. Yeah. So we'll, when we're talking about agency owners, right. So we have two types of clients, agency owners, and then, you know, realtors and LOs themselves for talking about agency owners, like the stated goal, right. Of that we're, that how we can add the most value to you. Um, and this happened to my agency when I implemented this, the ISA team, which is basically doubling the average customer value of each client by doubling the duration with which they're retained, that, that client is retained for. So the average retention is like one to three months. If you just use text or if you use, you know, whatever, some other service, like when I had, uh, when I put this into place, like, we don't, it's extremely rare we lose clients, right, anymore. So we want to at least get that retention to six months plus, okay? We're just going to make, enable you to make make more money. It's going to be a much better experience for the, um, the client. They're going to make more money because they're connected with more home buyers. And it's just, it's a win all the way around. So that's really like our focus is like retention, 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 um, and customer, ha you know, customer happiness when it comes to your clients being thrilled, singing your praises, 
giving you more referrals and just like improving your overall like state of mind or state <laughs> state of thought about your agency, right? Like, but you can do this, you know, you, you can, you don't have to be on a hamster wheel in terms of like, okay, I got like three clients and then two drop off, five clients, four drop off. Like you can actually grow a, like grow a sustainable business because you're able to retain clients. Yeah, you don't have to be in bed and, uh, you know, uh, sweating at night because you're not sure if your client's going to leave you or not. So <laughs> yeah, I've been there. I know I understand it. Right. And uh, then that's why we like, we want to be like really close to our, our, especially our agency clients. Like, that's why we get them in our Slack, you know, whatever. So we can just feel that. Right. And we can really understand, um, what, what, you know, what the client's needs are and be, be reactive. So it's like a boutique, you know, it's like, it's not like a massive call center. It's like a boutique contact center. Right. So we can be reactive. We can adjust. And we can just make sure that we're like making, you know, doing our best to make every single person like super happy who are our clients. Yeah, awesome. All right, so I think this was a great live. Um, gave a lot of value to everyone as far as um, you know what we're offering and you know how they can increase their business. Cool. Man. Um, and uh, I th thank you for coming on, definitely. Yeah. And um, we we'll definitely have more lives uh, talking about different topics in the future. Yeah. Uh, you have anything that you want to leave with us before um, we hop off? No, just thanks so much for having me on, man. I appreciate it. Well, yeah, we'll definitely do this again. This was super fun. Yeah, awesome. All right. I'll talk to you soon. All right. See you guys. Bye-bye.